con il, con il film che vedremo alla fine. Forse dico anche due cose in inglese. The Africans and people from Rosano. We don't consider you like enemy, but unfortunately, right now, in Italy, there is people, I'm talking about the actual government, who thinks that there is a problem of security in Italy, and this problem is connected with immigrants. I think that's in a country like Italy, it's very, very absurd, it's very unbelievable talking about security problem connected with immigrants. So, we will try to explain in, uh, as, as we will can during the, the, the evening. So, thank you. Io vorrei integrare i ringraziamenti che ha fatto Peppe prima, eh, un gruppo di ragazzi che hanno fatto da supporto ai eh, ragazzi africani durante questo lavoro di Frida Lab, uno è presente in sala da qualche parte. From Magalès to Dirkou e from Dirkou to Madama, it's probably uh, the travel you did also, or someone of you did this, this travel through the desert. is connected to the fact that the, the strategy of the Italian police uh, uh, now is to avoid uh, the, ship, the, the ships to uh, arrive until Lampedusa and they bring them <coughs> with their ship, with their boat, uh, they bring them uh, until Sicily, that means uh, 110 miles uh, more uh, north, uh, north and uh, in this space, in these 110 miles, uh, uh, the risk of uh, have a, uh, uh, in, um, a problem with uh, 80, 80 miles, not 110 miles, uh, in this space uh, uh, they, they are forced to travel also until Sicily, and so the risk in this space uh, will uh, uh, increase the risk of uh, uh, um, accident and uh, so the risk of death. Uh, so this is the first thing uh, Fulvio was saying before and about um, uh, the new strategy of the government to increase the expulsions uh, uh, of uh, legally uh, immigrated persons in Italy uh, um, on the opinion of uh, Fulvio, it's a strategy uh, uh, who wouldn't uh, work uh, uh, in the next month because uh, the country uh, from where you are coming to, so the, the country of origin of the immigrants, uh, don't want to take back the immigrants, uh, so they don't help uh, Italy to, to make the expulsions to, uh, to the origin countries because uh, uh, the immigrants, you are a, a source of uh, economic development for the origin country. So the origin country don't want to have you back, uh, but they, they want to have you uh, in a foreigner country working for your family in Italy. First, I want uh, good, good evening. It's very important to talk uh, each other because we are person and not uh, uh, not things, not uh, uh, object uh, or, or protagonist. Good, good evening. <laughs> Buonasera. Importante, secondo me. I want to thank uh, Ghani's uh, community and the standards too uh, for several uh, reasons. The, the first is because uh, you remember that uh, uh, we were strangers in other countries, in in service of the memory for us. The second, um, I want to say that I am not from Rosarno, I'm not from Calabria, I live in Rome, 
but I think this is very important because uh, this is not a Rosarno problem. This is not an Italian problem. The, not Calabrian problem, but it's an it's a Italian and international, transnational, global problem. And so in this moment, I think Rosarno could be a window of the world. And this is very important because we, I thank you, because you are uh, helping us to consider this situation and this reality. You know? It's not a local situation, but a global situation. Um, I am uh, uh, a director of uh, the um, international, of uh, the national uh, uh, network uh, who fight, that fight against the mafias. And we learn that uh, mafia is not only organized crime, but it is also a mentality. It is, there is a, a culture of mafias. We uh, name this mafia as uh, mafiosity. Mafiosity. And, uh, and the number of uh, uh, Italian uh, uh, people immigrated to uh, foreign countries is much higher of uh, foreign uh, immigrated to Italy. So the immigrants, Italian immigrants, are much more than stranger immigrants in Italy. And uh, the most important concept of uh, what uh, the mentor said uh, is that the only uh, way uh, to uh, uh, improve the condition of uh, the poor people, Italian and stranger, in the same time, because also you know that also in Italy we have a, a, a time of uh, economic crisis uh, and there are a lot of economic problems also for uh, the, the farms, the Italian farmers, the Italian agriculture uh, workers, uh, and uh, also for the Italian young employees who have who have who have, who have problem of unemployment. So the only solution to uh, try to have a, a just redistribution of richness is to stay together, uh, Italian and uh, stranger workers. Uh, together uh, uh, against uh, the mafias and uh, against uh, the uh, economical power who are uh, uh, keeping the richness uh, in, uh, uh, in their hands. There are in all the world, uh, not only in Rosario, not only in Italy, the situation is that uh, uh, there, are, there is a small number of uh, a very rich person who has in their hands a lot of economic power and also political power. And uh, it was the 11th of December. We had this idea to start to build, to make a sort of a human rights association. We called it Observatory Immigrants. And we made a group on the internet, and we called this group the Africans will save Rosario. Because that day you gave us a very important achievement. You showed, you gave us a demonstration. Because you, you have taken what our insensibility, what ignorance didn't want to give you. So, because you are... Because it's not, it's not so uh, normal in a place like this that the day after of a crime, people make a demonstration on the street. We are not used to it. So, this is, what, this is the reason why we called it the Africans we said Rosano. Ho detto semplicemente perché noi abbiamo chiamato questo gruppo gli africani salveranno Rosano e perché ad Antonello ha dato questa, questa, questa idea. Perché ci hanno dato una grandissima dimostrazione e un grandissimo insegnamento. What we do? We simply 
control. We think observe. For example, we have heard in the media, in the news, in the newspaper, a lot of problems, a lot of politicians started to, to declare, to say, we have done this, this, and this, and we will die, we will do, sorry, this, this, and this. And so, our first goal is to control, and to say, if it's uh, true that somebody has done something, and to control from tomorrow, if somebody will do, will do something. 